Well, it wasn't all doom and gloom in my so-called recovery. One day shopping in Shipston on the Stour, <laughs> in a sort of gift shop, I found this absolutely unforgettable long wooden plaque which carried the immortal message, it's hard to make a comeback when you haven't been anywhere. <laughs> consequential amount of gratitude and amazement. Now whenever I say the word amazement I'm taken right back to what has already been mentioned to Ken Branagh's Hamlet. I played his mother, I was only 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and Ken, a wicked child, decided that the Elsinore Castle dog was called Amazement. <laughs> the academics have got it already. <laughs> because there is a scene in which Hamlet confronts his mother in a very aggressive manner, and the ghost of his father appears. Ken was very safely facing upstage and I was in full frontal revelation in the middle of the stage. For when the ghost said to Hamlet, Look where amazement on your mother sits! <laughs> The gratitude that I feel isn't just towards the generosity of the Pragnall family and the Pragnall committee, but the fact that I'm standing here today at all is down to one man. The compassion and the generosity and warmth of human spirit that Greg Doran embodies. Now, I played the first scene of Richard II and the last scene of Henry V. Now, as the renowned Stanislavski said, there are no small parts, only small actors. <laughs> well, I wish he could have added that if you spend in the question of Richard II, four acts in the dressing room after you've done the first scene. <laughs> and in question of Henry V, five acts in the dressing room before you get to do the very last speech. He could have added, what a wonderful opportunity for handicrafts. <laughs> 